Robert Hamilton with Dine on Avionics. We understand that ADSB is coming to the LSA and light sport market. Tell us what you've got going. Okay, we just introduced the um, an ADSB module that ties into our Skyview uh, glass panel system. It's a completely integrated system. The receiver itself sits behind the panel or frankly anywhere in the aircraft. It receives ADSB weather, traffic, and TFRs. So how does this help then the guy who's the weekend pilot just going out around the patch, maybe off for a $100 hamburger? Compared to some other weather systems, the best thing about ADSB is it's free. So he's not shelling out money each month for a subscription that maybe you're not always using. But it's always there, it's always available using the federal FAA ADSB ground stations. So it's great. You get up in the air and it's always keeping your situational awareness current so that you know if any weather moving in unexpectedly or if you need to divert, it keeps you out of trouble. So take us through here with your display some of the features on your ADSB system. Okay, let me uh, go to the Skyview system, turn off the engine monitoring, and show you just the map display. Of course, this has all your airport navigational information and train view. But what we want to do now is go in here. We can also show just weather. And if I want to back up here a little bit, we're showing current weather right now. The Skyview system is in Palm Springs and it's very sunny there right now. So we're showing the circles where there is radar coverage, but no weather. If we go up here to Northern California and the Northwest where I'm from, you see some rain happening. This is our weather information. We also can call up airport information. These are all the closest airports, for example. We can click over to weather and now we have all the current weather for all the closest airports. The green indicates that it's marginal VFR, blue is VFR, and so you instantly have current information about all your local airports. If you need to head off to a new airport, you can just pick one that's clear and head for it. What is a pilot going to pay to have this capability in his airplane? Okay, uh, if you had a Skyview system already, then it's $9.95 for the ADSB module, and that's it. No, no ongoing charges for it. How's your show been so far? This has been a good show. This is always a good show for us. It's great to be here supporting all of our aircraft manufacturer dealers. So it's fun to be here and meet all the personnel from all of our customer companies and also to come out here and meet light sport pilots so we can answer questions and help them out with their equipment. How much of those kinds of conversations go into the research and development you did on this ADSB product? Well, almost everything we do is customer driven. Most of the features we had originally, we gained from years of selling our previous generation of products. We gathered all that data and then ongoing as we add new features, we're always asking customers questions. We're listening really hard. We have beta testers that we listen very closely to. So coming out to shows, that's, that's one of the primary reasons for coming here is to hear what people want next. Even at this show, we got some great ideas that you'll be seeing in future products. And we'll look forward to that and be talking with you again about that on Aero TV. Robert, thanks very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much, Tom. Aero TV is brought to you by. No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers. And it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com. Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristel. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristel.com.